Hello guys, in today's tutorial we're going to start making a shop. So let's get started. I'm going to do it what we did in the last tutorial. And now I'm going to and I'm going to create another panel. So panel and I'm going to name this panel shop. Okay. And it's it right now it fills all of, all of the screen. If I put it like this, it will not fill all of the screen. Okay. And I'm going to add the components just like in the last tutorial to layout components the vertical layout components and I'm going to not force height uh, we went all over this stuff in the last tutorial so if you didn't watch it go watch it also I'm going to edit a content size feeder and with the vertical fit of preferred size okay and now inside of the shop I'm going to right click UI and button bam and now we have a button there but it's all weird and to make it not weird I'm going to add a component layout com uh, element and here in the prefer preferred height I'm going to give it a preferred height of let's see if 80 goes nice okay 80 is nice so this is okay and to, into this trial I'm going to change this button into an item in the shop so what does a button have first it's not like this it's a custom button so I'm going to drag this sprite that I made and because this button right now is a bit too big the white part is a bit too big I'm going to put this from 100 to 200 okay boom and now it gets smaller and now in there we're going to make our button stats okay so now I'm going to import this banana and this evil monkey image and I'm going to put it in here okay and what does an item in the shop usually have well it has an image so I'm going to put here, I'm going to click on that button, oh, I'm going to actually name it item and I'm going to go into UI image and it has an image and we're going to place that image in the correct position anyway, anywhere is the correct position, position, you choose what is the correct position anyways, something like that seems nice it doesn't need to be really pretty, I'm just going to do this to show you how this works okay now we have an image there and I, I can even drag the the monkey image there so that you can so that you can see how it looks and the text that was already in the button we're going to make this the name so I can put here name and change its size like this and put it like here and align it to the right so it so that whatever the, the name is this will imagine this is a monkey, so I put here monkey. Whatever the name is, it will it will all be compatible. Imagine that I put here tree, tree, whatever, monkey. Okay, what an item in a shop also has? Well, it has a cost. So I'm going to put here UI text, and this is the cost. And in this text, it will be written something like the cost, and here it will show the price something like this okay I'm going to add another, another text and this text will hold the the amount of monkeys that we have so I'm going to drag this text into here and I'm going to align it to the to the right so that for instance in, in the beginning it's zero but in the beginning it's zero but if you get more and more it will grow to the left okay like so but it's not real it's not growing correctly but if I give it more space it will grow as you can see okay oops and the last thing that we want to do is to to tell us what is this monkey does and it will increase the bananas per second so I'm going to create here another UI text I'll, I'll also inside the item, as you can see, all of this is inside the item, and I'm going to put it say over here, and I'm going to name it bananas per second, and we'll say the bananas per second number in here. Okay. Uh, to make it more visible, I can even put this little banana that I got from the web. So I'm going to item, right click, UI, image, and I'm going to drag this banana over here and flip it 
oops, it's not flipping. And decrease its size and rotate it. Okay. Something like this, you know, so that you can see whatever are you buying. And this is our default button. Okay, so what's I'm going to name this all of this stuff correctly so that you can actually know what everything is. So this is the name. So I'm going to type here name. Yep. This is the icon, so I'm going to type here icon. That's the cost, so cost. This is the number or the account or whatever you want to call it. And this is the banana per second. And finally, this is the banana. Banana. And as you can see, if I click on Ctrl D to multiply this, they appear like that. And of course, that we also want a way to change the content of this. And how can we change the content of something through code? So I'm going to add a new a new script over here called button scripts so, or item scripts. That's more like it. Okay, item script. Let's open it. Uh, and all that this item script will have is just the the variables of everything that we created in here in this button. So what did we create? Well, we created UI elements, so we're going to have to use UnityEngine.UI. So UnityEngine.UI. Okay. So there was an image, so public image, and we're going to name it icon. Public text name. Public text cost. Public text gain. And finally, public text uh, count. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Let me see. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, the banana doesn't matter. And this is the script that we have to attach to the button, to every button. So it is already attached because I created it over here. So these fields are none. So I'm going to click and drag them to here. So the name goes to the name. The icon goes to the image. The cost to the cost. The banana per second to the game. And the count is the number. And this is it for today guys. We have now set up our button so that it can be modified. So uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial where we'll learn how to modify this button.